Biscuits with the Boss. Yeah, Hi everyone, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. Today we're making a classic shortbread as featured on Apple TV's hit, Ted Lasso. I've been pretty hooked on Ted Lasso ever since visiting my family in Canada. My brother and best friend told me I needed to watch it. My favorite part is when Ted brings these amazing shortbread biscuits to his boss, Rebecca, in order to win her over a little. Yeah, cookies. <laughs> or, as y'all call them here, biscuits, right? Take a look at there. This recipe only uses four ingredients. It's super simple and easy to make, but there are a few key things to make it absolutely perfect. So let's get started. See the description below for a list of ingredients. Into a mixing bowl, we want 228 grams of unsalted room temperature butter. Because butter is the main flavor in these biscuits, it's really important to use a good quality unsalted butter. We want to be able to control the salt content in this biscuit because we really want the sweetness of that butter to come through. We're going to whip this butter up on high for three to five minutes until it's light and fluffy. While the butter is whisking, sift 83 grams of icing sugar to make sure you get all those little lumps out. I like to sift it on a sheet of parchment paper so it's easy to slide into the bowl while it's mixing. Now that our butter is nice and creamy and very smooth, I'm going to turn it down to the lowest setting and slowly start to add in our powdered sugar. Once that butter has absorbed all of that powdered sugar, crank it back up to high again and let it whisk through. Next we're going to sift together 240 grams of plain flour, all purpose will work too, and one quarter teaspoon of salt. And we'll sift that the same way we did our powdered sugar. This makes sure our biscuits are extra creamy. I like to scrape down the beater and the sides of the bowl at this point, just to make sure we haven't missed any big lumps of sugar or butter, and to allow for the flour to incorporate a little bit smoother. You can add vanilla at this point, but butter really is the star flavor in these biscuits. So for Ted Lasso's perfect recipe, I'd leave it out. And that's coming from the Vanilla Queen. So back on to the lowest speed and we're going to slowly add in our flour. Make sure you don't overmix your dough. We don't want to develop too much gluten here. And that's ready to go into our pan. I've prepared an 8 inch square pan by lining it with butter and then a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to pour our dough into this pan. And very gently you'll want to press it down into the corners. You want to keep these biscuits nice and light so you don't want to pack it down too firmly. Take the piece of parchment paper you used earlier and just press it on top gently to make sure the biscuits are nice and flat. Now we're going to cover these up and pop them in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. While the biscuits are chilling, we're going to preheat our oven to 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a very low oven temperature, but we want to make sure the center of those biscuits cook through before we start getting that browning on the outside. Now that our dough is chilled, we want to cut it. So I like to cut it six pieces this way and three pieces this way so they fit perfectly in our boxes. And the reason we cut it before we bake it is so that we'll have those nice clean edges. We're going to bake these for about 45 minutes to an hour until the middle is set and they just start to brown. That's when they're ready to come out. Once they're beautifully golden on top, we're going to take them out and cut them in those same lines that we cut the first time. Now we're going to let these cool completely before we put them in their little boxes. Your biscuits. And I hope they're not as good as they usually are. Oh, but dang it, they're the best batch yet. I finally cracked the recipe! They are rich and buttery and melt in your mouth. I think I've perfected Ted Lasso's biscuits. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give us a big like, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you next time.